Uh, this presentation is related with uh, the PC12 cells, which are an immortal cell line derived from the cancerous tissue of a red ad adrenal gland, but differ from other cancer cells in that they have some very special properties. Uh, in their normal undifferentiated state, PC12 cells exhibit the pr properties of a non neuronal cell. However, if these cells are exposed to specific growth factors, namely NGF, they <coughs> begin to change. Over the course of a week, the cells stop dividing, extend processes, and become ex electrically excitable. In other words, they differentiate into a neuro neuronal-like cell type. Uh, this property excited <coughs> many, of, uh, many uh, neurobiologists for it represented a uh, model for the long-term effects of growth factors, specifically how a growth factor could regulate the development of a full-fledged neuron. Uh, furthermore, PC12 cells that had been transformed with growth factors served as an excellent model for the workings of sympathetic neurons. These two articles are two of PC12 cell line using article examples. Uh, first one is neurites from PC12 cells are connected to each other by synapse-like structures, which deals with the features of neurites and synapse formation from PC12 cells. And second article is new nerve regeneration strategy combining laminin coated ketosan chondrites and stem cell therapy about new scaffold for nerve regeneration. As PC12 cells were incubated with NGF, a nerve growth factor, BFGF, basic fibroblast growth factor, and CAMP, cyclic AMP, for two days. A neurite outgrowth occurred and CAMP induced more neurites and shorter length. Also, researchers observed by SCM scanning electron microscopy uh, that some terminals of neurites showed button like morphology and were connected to the acids of neurite neuritis. Uh, by using TEM transmission electron microscopy, uh, these synapse-like structures were observed for PC12 cells treated with basic fibroblast growth factor and many dense core vesicles are showed. Uh, then researchers examined the effect of TET-C3 toxin on the neurite outgrowth of PC12 cells and on the synapse-like structure formation between neurites of PC12 cells. C3 toxin inhibits rho GTPase and TET peptide fused C3 toxin increased the extent of neurite outgrowth when the cells were stimulated with nerve growth factor, basic fibroblast growth factor, and CAMP. Also, the localization of dendrites marker MAP2, axonal marker Tau1, postsynaptic marker Drebrin, and synaptic ves vesicles marker Synapto tagmin is observed by immunocytochemistry. Uh, in the second article, researchers designed new nerve regeneration strategy using ketosan by using PC12 cells for study cell adhesion ratio and neuronal differentiation. They showed that laminin modified ketosan film could enhance PC12 cell adhesion and serve as an effective substrate to enhance nerve regeneration. Also comparing between the empty silicon group the multi-word group and the multi-word plus bone marrow stem cell group, uh, they demonstrated that bone marrow stem cells are necessary for proper neuronal growth within the silicon tube and bone marrow stem cells would not lead to hyperplasia. <coughs> Although it has been shown that ketosan films can promote the growth of nerve cells and repair an injured nerve, the percentage of area occupied by inflammatory cells in the multi-word ketosan conduit group was significantly higher than the other groups. By comparing the number of <laughs> tracer-labeled motor neurons on the implanted side with that on the contralateral side, researchers showed that conduits with bone marrow stem cell group recovered significantly higher than that of other groups. Also, gastronemius <coughs> muscle mass, which is related with loss of nerve innervation, indicated that there were different trends between the bone marrow stem cell group and the others. In summary, researchers in first article showed that the connections between neurites of PC12 cells seem to be 
synapse-like structures and formation of synapse-like structures by using pre- and post-synaptic markers. And second article, newly designed scaffold laminin-modified ketosan multi-world nerve conduit combined with bone marrow stem cells is an efficient and safe conduit matrix for nerve regeneration.